Are you feeling comfortable? Yes, sir. Let's start. Yes, sir. Could you please introduce yourself? Good afternoon, sir. My name is Nitisha. I have completed my degree in BBA stream from Nizam College, Ismania okay. University. Okay. I am from Jagitial district and currently I currently stay at Hyderabad. Okay. Coming to my hobbies and interests, watching TV, listening to music, reading books and cooking. My father is a farmer and my mother is housewife. My strengths are I can work under pressure and I follow punctuality strictly. And coming to my weaknesses, I had trouble at asking help for someone and I had trouble at saying no. Okay. And my technical skills are Git, Jenkins, Sonacube, Nexus and a little of Terraform. Terraform. Okay. So, um, what is um, Git uh, Cherry Pick? Git Cherry Pick is used to select a particular commit and it is to when you want to send to a particular commit to another branch, then we use, we use cherry pick. Cherry pick, yes. Okay, very good. Next. What is different between a git revert and then git reset? Git reset is to delete a commit in the local, that is okay. our computer. And okay. git revert is to make changes in the uh, remote. Here, one commit is going to add there. Add there. Is to make the changes. Changes. Okay. Next. Um, do you know how to handle the uh, Git in from Visual Studio? Yes. So, how do you integrate that with the Visual Studio? Git and Visual Studio. Git and no Git and uh, Visual Studio. Yes. Yeah. When we, we first we need to install both. Then after we need to uh, sign into the Git from the Visual Studio. Then okay. we use the terminal. Okay. And then we use the. Do you use the uh, uh, click buttons or use the commands again in the? Uh, no click buttons like commit, pull, push. Okay, very good. Okay. So, uh, what is difference between uh, uh, git push and git pull? Git push is to move the commits from our local to the remote and git pull is to bring the uh, commits from the remote to the okay. local PC. Have you faced any merge conflict? No. What is uh, Maven? How do you Maven useful for DevOps in this? Maven is a build tool. It is to build the source code. It is written in Java language. It is used to manage multiple projects. Well, it is also used to build and de deploy and publish multiple projects at a time and it is to convert human understandable language to the computer system understandable language language uh, as, as per your knowledge what is devops actually devops, DevOps. so without jenkins can you uh, assume there is going to be devops no jenkins so, is a continuous integration and continuous deployment process actually okay here there will be many steps like build monitor test and everything okay. without Jenkins so each and every step uh, if you want to do each and every step it takes a lot of time and efforts and capital for the organization so okay. Jenkins helps to do it easily easily okay very good exactly um, what are the issues you have faced uh, so far while practicing while practicing mainly just it's a simple issue it's my network issue okay that's it beyond that while watching video we can do it but we need a lot of practice, like practice. Oh. by seeing video we need to do four okay. to five times okay um, what is difference between polysium webhook and periodical build periodical build is it build the codes at the schedule time schedule time okay polysium is build the code at the schedule schedule time when the changes are made in it. Right. Yeah. webhook it builds the code immediately irrespective of the schedule time okay what is pipeline what is different between freestyle and pipeline Pipeline is a CI CD and freestyle is freestyle is also CI CD but pipeline is nothing but it uh, will uh, the workflow in a code concept. Okay. Yes, could you please sam write a sample uh, uh, pipeline? Okay, sir. So, what is Terraform? Terraform is used to create multiple instances or multiple S3 buckets at a time. Mm -hmm. Actually, what is it? When I say Jenkins, it's just CICD. Yeah. But when I say Terraform, so whatever you have in your house, that is your infrastructure. Yeah. So all this S3, EC2 is whose infrastructure? AWS. So now what is Terraform? When we want to... So you're writing some script. Yeah. So assume that a script as a code so aws what you are having the services in aws it is your infrastructure so now tell me combine this and tell me when we want for uh, services then no no infrastructure as a code oh. concept iac yes so what happens in the background when you say terraform apply actually first we plan 
what what need to be do like zero zero one thing to add one zero things to destroy and zero things to change then what we have planned what it shows then after upload after we click apply the plan one will be applied it is gonna be generate one terraform dot state file dot terraform dot state file gonna be then act as a database the, of the okay. entire infrastructure so what it's gonna store what is the public ip what is the private ip all what these things is gonna store yes so what is terraform in it it initializes the all list um, commands okay could you please write sample terraform uh, file main.tf we can add count like how many instances we perfect want. next um what is a ami a ami you have just tried in what amazon, is ami amazon machine image image okay. we use it to create multiple tomcats or whatever with the same config configuration okay.